Hello. Welcome to the Dope Show with Dopey. Um, I feel like this absolutely has to be done, and this is necessary. Last night, I watched uh, The Sons of Anarchy, new episode, and I need to know, why the fuck did you guys kill off Obi, dude? Um, serious, serious, dude. I just, it just, I can't, can't get with it, dude. I love Sons of Anarchy. I'm not into any, any, uh, television series either, dude. You know, I haven't ever been. The only other one is The Walking Dead, and I only watched the first season of that. And I, like, watched the first, second episode of the, or the first, uh, episode of the second season. But Opie was my favorite character. He was my favorite character. And uh, I just think it's bullshit because what has happened to Opie is an injustice, dude. The storyline sucks so bad. The only reason why I'm going to accept that you guys killed off Opie is that Ryan Hurst wanted to do something else. That, that's it. That's it. If Ryan Hurst still wanted to stay on and keep doing it, and the writer, I can't ever remember his name. I think it's Kurt something. Who, if you just decide to kill off Opie, because it'd be a great storyline, you're fucking wrong, dude. That's just horrible. I mean, now it's just like, since Opie's dead, Sons of Anarchy is... You know, I mean, it's like, why? I don't even want to watch it anymore. Because, like, one of the reasons why I did want to watch it was just to see what fucking Opie would do for... For justice, man. I'm, like, waiting for Opie's time. That's what, that's all, that's like, because Opie's just been shit on through this whole time. Opie's wife dies, then Piney's, then, then, then his dad, man. And now you kill him off. It's like, you fucked him, big time. Like, royally fucked him. And then wipe your dick on his grandma's drapes, dude. It's just bullshit. It is bogus what happened with Opie, because... The storyline sucks on top of it. Um, they gave Opie a lead pipe. You know, you, you guys probably seen it. You know what I'm talking about. They gave Opie a lead pipe. And he knocked out three mother two motherfuckers with a lead pipe and headbutted a bitch. Opie won that fight. It's really, it's really bogus because Opie did win that fight, man. I mean, all he needed to do was knock that motherfucker out, then go and hit knock out the fourth dude, and just do his rounds, and then bathe in their blood, man. You know, Opie destroys when he needs to destroy. It's just sad. And and you made it to where it's like he accepted his death. After the first, first, first pipe hit, he's done. You know, I mean, he hit two motherfuckers as hard as he could in the face with the lead pipe. And they go down, man, just down. And then get right back up after he knocked down the third third guy, and then he's just sitting there waiting for what's, you know, I mean, it's like he was just waiting to see, it's like he he needed to, to attack immediately, Opie, Opie won that fight, it's just bogus, man, it really is bogus, because Opie gets hit in the face one time, and he's done, you know, I mean, I know you, they've done a lot of Opie's where they like, you might think he'd accept his death, but you think as a man, for Opie is like the only thing that you have to live for now is revenge and making things right, you know. Because I mean, first off, he lost his wife and his dad. So I mean, as a man, you want to see it through that you got your justice and that you did it for them. You know what I mean? That you make things right for them and wrong the things that you do. Just don't be like, all right, life sucks now, kill me. You know what I mean? I mean, and I think Opie, that, that would have been a more interesting storyline, is to give Opie finally some fucking justice. Because that's like, one I was waiting for Opie to just beast out, man, not kill Opie. I'm so disappointed in Sons of Anarchy. I know there's got to be thousands, if not millions of people upset with Sons of Anarchy right now. I mean, I don't know what you guys got to do, but you got to do it. You got to bring Opie back. If you faked his death, fine. I'm down with that. You just can't completely get rid of Opie. It's sad to, for that to happen, man. Really bogus. The only way I will accept it is that Ryan Hurst decided to do something else. That's it. That's it. Unless the... And I mean... And if, if they killed him off because the directors thought it'd be good for the storyline, 
then I'm not accepting that. I'm just like, that's fucking bullshit. I don't know how you can do it. That's a piece of shit storyline. I mean, Opie won that fight on top of it. I mean, you killed him off in a horrible way. You didn't even give Opie justice on killing him off, in my opinion. You know what I mean? Because I think people know Opie, you know, as it's like he's my favorite character. Um... And then next, Opie Jax is my favorite character. You know, I know everyone's favorite character is Jax, but Opie was my favorite. And I still can't wrap my head around why he's dead, dude. I'm like, he's like one of the main reasons why I look forward to watching Sons of Anarchy. I mean, it looked like he was going to come around, that he went to jail for his bro Jax. He had something to live for, you know, I mean... It looked like he was going to get his kids taken care of and that he was going to get more committed to the club for Jax's ideas. You know what I mean? To do it a justice. And, I mean, it's really horrible. It's the worst plot line story I've ever heard. It's just so sad. I can't fucking believe it, dude. I mean, I want an answer, Ryan Hurst. I want an answer from someone on why they killed Opie off personally. Because the storyline shit on top of it. It is. Opie won the fight on top of it. And Opie won except that. And, I mean, what are your opinions, dude? I mean, seriously, if you come down to reality, if Opie knew he was fighting for his life, I think he would have been fighting for his life, you know what I mean? Not just accepting death. Especially with your brothers fucking watching. You know what I mean? I mean, you got your brothers watching. You got to be like, I went down swinging and took every fucking shot that I could. You know what I mean? I, I don't think one... I know a lead pipe would fucking knock a motherfucker out and probably... I've seen, I've seen axe handles and bats and shit knock people out before, you know? And this is a lead pipe. So, I mean, if you stop Opie with one punch to the face with a lead pipe, then those two motherfuckers were done. That's all I gotta say. And then he needed to knock out those two motherfuckers and do his rounds, and then he would have won that fight. It's just that simple, man. It really is. And that's why I don't get it. It's really why I don't get it. It's like you purposely killed them off and didn't make it realistic about it either. You know what I mean? On top of that. So that's why it's shit plot. It's a shit storyline. Um... Who else agrees, man? I know there's got to be a bunch of others. Anyways, bring back Opie. I don't care how you fucking do it. You say he fake his death, fine, whatever. For whatever reason. I mean, you know, fine. Or that he made it and that Pope wanted to keep him under, to, to make Jax do this or whatever. I don't give a fuck what you come up with. Just bring back Opie, man. Because if you don't, Sons of Anarchy ain't going to be the same anymore. It's just staying, man, because you made the last... Four episodes, Opie, a prime character and justice and retribution. And then you just take it away from him. You know, it's like disappointment all over the place. So I'm, you did a shit job. Um, the only reason why, if, 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 Ope, if uh, Ryan Hurst had wanted to leave and wanted to do something else, that's the only answer I'm going to accept. Because I can understand that. I mean, what else are you going to do? It's like, well, Ryan wants to do this. He doesn't want to do Sons anymore, so now we got to kill him off. Understandable. You know? Anyways, take it easy. Peace.